Thread whirling is a variation of the thread milling process where the cutters are mounted to the inside of a cutting ring and then a whirling spindle, rather than the cutters mounted to the outside of a milling tool. During the whirling process, the whirling tool assembly engages the spinning bar stock close to the guide bushing, providing increased support and rigidity, vital for whirling long screw lengths. Unlike single point threading, thread whirling eliminates the need to match roughing and finishing insert forms, since the process takes care of both functions in a single pass from bar stock, resulting in reduced setup time and reduced cycle times. Time savings is compounded further when whirling multi-lead threads with multi-lead whirling inserts. This also includes blending each lead at the end of the process. During the single point threading process of a single or multi-lead screw, rigidity is immediately compromised when working the bar stock down to the outer diameter size. Once the first pass is completed, the material is fed back into the guide bushing before advancing on to the next pass. As each pass is made, the material is at risk of deflecting due to the distance where the guide bushing holds the bar stock and the point where the threading tool meets the material. As material is removed during each pass, the part becomes less rigid. During the whirling process, the cutter's point of contact with the material is very close to the guide bushing since the threads are created in one pass from bar stock diameter. This eliminates the need to feed the material back into the guide bushing and therefore rigidity is maintained throughout. Be sure to 